Hi, my name is John Balms. I'm a physician scientist uh, at the University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine and the University of California, Berkeley School of Public Health. And I'm going to talk about risk factors for asthma. And uh, I think most of you know that asthma is a uh, hereditary disease in, in part. Uh, and it's also a classic gene by environment disease. So the genes that you inherit that put you at risk for asthma interact with various uh, exposures, which are shown on this slide. Smoking is a classic one. Mothers who smoke uh, are a risk factor in terms of their kids developing asthma. Uh, occupations of both parents are a risk factor for developing asthma in children. Certainly infections, especially RSV and other viral infections. Socioeconomic status, low income children of color are at greater risk for developing asthma. And then something that you're particularly interested in if you're taking this uh, ebook uh, is indoor and outdoor environments. So I've already mentioned smoking, which uh, is often uh, an indoor exposure, but cooking, especially with gas stoves, unventilated gas stoves is a risk factor and uh, outdoor exposure to air pollutants, especially ozone, nitrogen dioxide and fine particulate. A couple other factors that people often forget about, one is obesity, especially in adolescence and in younger kids, boys are at greater risk than girls, but in adolescence it flips and girls are at greater risk than boys for developing asthma. And uh, it's important to acknowledge that as a result of structural racism in the US, there's discrimination that affects kids and it affects kids biologically. There's greater psychosocial stress, which has direct biological effects on children that increase their risk of asthma.